My name is Serena Takel. I'm CMHC's Market Analyst for Prince Edward Island. Now you may notice today that this presentation is a bit different than the norm. It's a video. And this is just one example of how CMHC is using technology to reach our valued clients such as yourself. Now, as I mentioned, I am an analyst and I do like my numbers. And when I look at the aggregate area of Cornwall, Stratford, and Charlottetown, that I'll be referring from here in is just the greater uh, Charlottetown area, um, is that there's been a lot of activity. If we look at the uh, rental market, we've seen the vacancy rate drop to 1.7% in October 2016. This is down from 4.2% just last year. In terms of new home construction, we've seen growth in both the singles and multiple segment of the market. That's led to a 10% year-over-year growth in total starts. And probably my most interesting or excitable area for me is looking at the resale market, where uh, MLS sales have grown by 31%. This has been accompanied by a 15% year-over-year growth in prices as well. Now, it's not the Charlottetown that's seen price growth and uh, increase in number of MLS sales, but it's been across the entire province. Every single market on Prince Edward Island has seen growth in MLS sales in the double-digit range. And most of those markets, with the exception of Summerside, have also seen double-digit price growth. Now, if you're like me and you're going, well, there's all these wonderfully big numbers going on, very active market, well, why is it happening? Is it local buyers that are able to just transact between one another now that's increasing the resale market? Are there people buying secondary homes? Are there foreign buyers buying up our properties here on the island? And in terms of the rental market, is it really the vacancy coming down because there's an increase in the number of international students enrolled at UPEI? Now, is it something else or is it maybe everything altogether? Well, I decided to tackle this question in CMHC's newest market analysis product that's called Housing Market Insight Publication. This report essentially um, analyzes uh, special topics related to the housing market in a timely and relevant manner. Now, if you're like me and asking this question of why these things are happening and want to read my report, the easiest way to get there is to visit our website at www.cmhc.ca forward slash housing market information. Now, the key here with housing market information is that there's no spaces. So if you go to that website, you'll first come up to our, our introductory page, and you'll want to click on the second box down called Forecast and Analysis. And once you click on that Forecast and Analysis box, you'll get our full list of CMHC market analysis products. Right there, second on the list is our Housing Market Insights. So please feel free to visit our website and download the Housing Market Insight report um, to have a, a read of my re re most recent publication. But for those of you who don't want to read the report or just want to hear what's going on right now, feel free to continue with me. So we're back at the question then. So what's happening in terms of the, of the housing market on, in, in Charlottetown? Well, according to the results of my Housing Market Insight report, immigration is the key. Over the first six months of 2016, we've seen over 1,300 new families move to Prince Edward Island. That equates to about 500 new families. And about 90% of those are moving to Charlottetown. Now, if we go back over between June and, uh, sorry, July of 2015 to June 2016, so a full 12 month period, we've got over 2,000 immigrants that have moved here. So even more. Now, if you remember our vacancy rate back at the beginning of my presentation was that uh, last year it was 4.2%. So that means as of last year, we had about 280 vacant units available. And over the first six months of this year alone, we've had 500 families come in. So there's a bit of a disconnect there between the number of families that can move into rental, which is typical for people moving to a new area, and the number of available units. Usually, with um, that disconnect, we'll see an increase in new home construction activity. But that hasn't been happening either, because if you look at the yellow bars on this graph, we'll see that the number of completed new units is below where the number of new households are being created. So again, the rental market isn't able to uh, absorb those new families, and we're not seeing enough new homes being completed to absorb them either. And that led me to conclude that they must be buying resale market. And that's why we're seeing that 30% increase in year-over-year -year MLS sales. So in terms of what's expected going forward, Given that immigration is not expected to slow as a result of commitments made under the Atlantic Growth Strategy, housing starts are expected to increase, particularly on the multifamily side. 
because there's still going to be that disconnect between the number of available rental units um, and the number of people moving to the island, we are also going to continue to see an elevated level of MLS sale activity. As a result of the increased demand for resale homes, that's going to push the average prices up, albeit a bit more modest than what we've seen this year. So overall, we're still expecting to see strong demand for housing on Charlottetown over a forecast period. So that does conclude my presentation for today. Um, thank you very much for joining us. If you do have any questions, please feel free to direct them over to Donald. Um, and he will have a copy of my business card if you do want my contact information. Otherwise, my contact information is here as well. Thank you very much for your time today and enjoy your day.